Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shella Malawson. On tonight's bulletin, there's a mixed reaction on new radio stations. Banned skin whitening creams flood Bulawayo. A Jerusalem Ambede group releases a new album. And Zimbabwe's tennis players move up a notch. The introduction of two new radio stations in Zimbabwe is generating mixed reactions, with some hailing the move, while others receive it with a cautious note of optimism. Our reporter Jeffrey Moyo reports. The coming in of two more radio stations Star FM and ZFM on National Airwaves has been received with mixed feelings in Harare. ATV caught up with a number of people who expressed their feelings over the entrance of the two radio channels. Uh, after the introduction of new radio stations in Zimbabwe, like uh, Star FM and ZFM, I just thought maybe it was a, a, a new strategy that the, the media industry had, um, had accomplished Though it seems that, um, for instance, Thai FM is still continuing with the same propaganda which the other broadcasting stations are still using, such as ZBC uh, radio, like the one called uh, uh, Poi FM. Other people said the entrance of new players will make advertising more competitive and help reduce advertising costs for local businesses. The advertising industry is a monopoly only one radio station. However, some listeners said the biggest winner following the coming of the new stations was the entertainment industry. For entertainment, I'm very happy. At least now, uh, they've, got, they've actually changed. Like we used to, to hear the, the, the same music all the time, especially on Power FM. Other people say there should be more radio stations to cater for other minority languages in the country. My station is here, I'm going to go to I'm going to go to the country. 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 A local communication specialist questioned the content and quality of presentation in the new radio stations. The most important challenge now is the co content and quality of presentations. The researchers or the presenters, especially on Star FM, some of them do not have well-researched stories. While the themes could be good, it would be nice if they could uh, add more value and make credible submissions after carrying out research from reliable sources. Reporting for ATV, I'm Jeffrey Moyo in Harare, Zimbabwe. The market for banned skin lightening cosmetics is growing in Bulawayo as more and more women seek to enhance their looks for the opposite sex. Eunice Feridzai gives us the report. Despite repeated concerns, more women in Bulawayo are applying burnt skin lightening creams in the belief that a fairer complexion equates to beauty. The bleaching products are being sold illegally in flea markets and other downtown shops adding to the vast and ever-growing skin whitening trade which is encouraging women to bleach beyond their hands and faces. ATV caught up with some Bulawayo women who gave various reasons for using skin whitening products. In I was using it. I was using Epidem, I used uh, Extra Clear, and my skin was bad. Saka, it depends on the skin yako. Ngati sango uza na ema advice is better kuenda kuma kuneva nwaka zidza neje ma neje beauty. Kana uti kuma farmers kutitunonzo wati ndejipi jnendra na ne skin yao yako. Some women prefer to speak off camera said their men told them they look prettier if they appear. However, the use of lightning products attracted criticism in some quarters of the cosmetic industry with beauty therapists warning for the risks. I'm a skin lightening cream is a sight in lamb and bony advantage. John, which is cutting a snake, I had to measure skin. I'm going to accident. 
skin is not too near. Mobile service is weak. Your skin. He advised, "Eh, eh, nigga, our seven star, our skin lightening creams. When our seven centers, young, our foundations, concealer, the my face powders, have the my blemishes as well as damage your skin." Using Amo Lemovet and Tiprozone, you're damaging the the layer of your skin, and then by removing that layer the one that protects you from the sun. And then that's how you find the monument to their damage or the scars on the face. But when you're doing a facial, you can reuse the irrejuvi dermatology. That's the ones that can remove ama black spots and blackheads. Lightning cream should not be used because um, people will be prone to skin diseases like skin cancer and other diseases. And I think they are harmful to the skin. A Bulawayo based pharmacist discouraged women from using smuggled and banned bleaching creams. And this latest development has reopened the age-old fairness debate. And for now, it seems the war against the banned substances has been lost. Reporting for ATV in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. A local group has released a traditional dance music album aimed at preserving the Zimbabwe Jerusalem embed and musical heritage. Jairo Saunyama reports. Romonzi based traditional dance group Goma Zepasi broke new ground by releasing the first ever Mbende Jerusalem album in the country. The album titled Makarekare carries six songs and is now being played on air. The leader of the group told ATV about the group's quest to preserve local music traditions. <laughs> Recording the album was an uphill battle as recording companies were not keen to produce traditional Jerusalem Mbende music. Gomadzebasi, which has won many accolades as the best traditional dance group in the country, is also nurturing young talent. Traditional music is fast regaining its popularity among Zimbabweans, despite some people shunning it. And the release of this album will certainly break the jinx and open the Jerusalem band dance music to more people. Reporting for ATV in Murewa, Zimbabwe. The International Tennis Federation African Junior Circuit tournament ended at the weekend with many people impressed with how local Zimbabweans played. Robert Tafumane reports. The International Tennis Federation South Central Africa Junior Circuit tournament ended recently with some Zimbabwean tennis players showing a remarkable improvement in their level of play. Some of the players reached quarterfinals while Zimbabwe's sixth seed Tendai Tafuma got to the finals but eventually lost to Matthew Russo of South Africa. I mean, Matthew played well, so there's nothing much I could have done. I think I played my best and uh, yeah, it was his day today. Russo, the winner in the boys' singles final, who never lost a game in the tournament, said he was happy with the way he played. Um, I think just attitude. I mean, um, keeping to, to what I need to do and uh, routines every day. I mean, not mixing it up, doing the same thing every day. And I mean, just discipline. I mean, staying to what I know and what I, what I need to do and just keep fighting till the end. There was an upset in the girls' final as the win of the first leg was defeated by a Namibian player. Well, nothing went wrong. I, um, she played well and uh, I think that's what I think, that the line calls were a bit on her side and uh, I just didn't play well. I, I, didn't, I was not that 
focused I was in the last weeks. I was just making so many errors, that's it. Namibia's said Shia Jacob, who won the girls' title, was over the moon. The final was great. Uh, she, I, was, I started off well. I went up and then she came back. So then I tried to dig deep and just go for it. Yes, I played it last week in the final. I lost. So I was great that I could do. Um, I'm happy that I could win this week. Tennis Zimbabwe Vice President Regis Bunu said he was happy with the performance of Zimbabwean tennis players in the tournament. Uh, the first week was a disaster in terms of how our players performed. Uh, but this week there, there was a, a lot of improvement. I think the players did fail very well. Well, we expect wins and losses in, uh, in tournaments, but to tell you the truth, we are satisfied with the way the, the young boys and girls have performed. Over 150 players from around the world took part in the two-legged International Tennis Federation Africa Junior Circuit Tournament at Harare Sports Club. Reporting for ATV, Robert of Money, Harare, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.